everybody, this is Ryan with Experience 360. I've got a real quick tutorial today on showing you how to convert your 360 video to full dome format. What full dome format is, is it's a one by one aspect ratio fisheye format, and we can really easily convert our two by one equo rectangular 360 video to that format nicely. So because I wanna use both of those and not just apply my VR converter to only one of those layers, I'm gonna pre-comp these layers real quick together, and we're gonna just call that dome. All right, so the first thing and the only thing we need to do is apply the VR converter, just switch from our input to our equi rectangular video and our output to fisheye full dome. And immediately you're gonna see a round full dome image popping out. Now, unless your full dome is pitched 90 degrees forward, well then we're gonna need to reorient this. So what we're gonna do is just switch this to 90. That's gonna go ahead and kick the horizon down. Now, where where did everything go? Well, we need to adjust the field of view to make sure we can get that back. And if you notice, the field of view that I'm adjusting here corresponds to the markings that we have in the guide. So that's why you know exactly how much you need to adjust based off of the content that you have and want to focus on. Now, while this works really well for uh, converting a large amount of footage very quickly, sometimes there might be different field of view requirements you have for each shot. You might wanna see more of the lake or less um, of the mountains or something like that. So we can really easily achieve that going back into Premiere. And really the only thing you need to do is grab that same guide, bring that guide in. And uh, what we'll be doing is just using this guide across all of the shots and pretty much adjusting each and every one of the individual shots to make sure that we're within our area. So I like working at 210. It's a real um, easy way to just get a little bit of over coverage and it doesn't warp the resulting dome image too much. So in some of these cases, I might, I think I've got half dome is centered in this shot, but then in this case, uh, half dome is pushed off to the side. So I wanna bring half dome back and it's as easy as just adding an uh, a, a rotate sphere and then just rotating the sphere. And that will actually give you exactly what you want in the dome. And again, this will be your horizon line. So set everything accordingly. But this way you can really easily add and edit any of the individual shots that you want to change. If you want to pivot, if you want to suddenly feature the sun sunset now we don't want to necessarily feature as much of half dome um, we can just really quickly move that and uh, adjust that as needed all right there's one more also great tool and uh, this is available if you have the metal mantra plugins it's um it's part of the mantra series and this will help it if you need to change actually the shot and, and stretch it up or stretch it down. So in this case, if you notice uh, at 210, most of what we're wanting to see is in the shot and that works out real well. But later on when we are uh, in a different environment like this lake, a lot of the most beautiful parts are actually below our horizon. And while I could really quickly just grab the rotate sphere and edit the horizon line up. That could work well. I'm also losing some of the stuff in the back that I like a lot. So we'll go ahead and keep that there, but also use the Mantra VR Stretcher plugin. This plugin is amazing because what you can do is pretty much push up and down the uh, horizon area and squish the shot up and down. So in this case, I don't want to squish it too much, but I do want to do a little bit of that and then push this up so we can catch the whole lake. And that way, suddenly, now I've got a little bit of a squished image, but it will be coming up along the entire dome and I'll actually be able to see everything. So that will help us when we're doing some of these shots that have the horizon line pretty darn low. And that's pretty much it. 
you would then take this video, turn off the guide, of course, render this out, take it back into After Effects, and then apply your same fisheye effect, and then just go ahead and export it. Pretty simple. Make sure that your rendering is still a one-to-one, -one, and uh, then you'll be ready to go for dome format. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you. Best of luck. Looking forward to seeing what you guys create.